Good evening. I am Dr. Julie Moore, the Executive Director of Secondary Education for Liberty Public Schools, and it is my honor to welcome you to the 2020 Academic Achievement Recognition Ceremony. As you know, this spring has been extremely unique as we have navigated through these unprecedented times. One of the hardest things for us has been how the interruptions to our regular school year has caused postponements and cancellations to many of our celebration events this spring. For this particular event, we felt it extremely important to celebrate the academic achievements of these unbelievably talented juniors and seniors. Maybe not in the traditional format of being together at Pleasant Valley like previous years, but in a virtual format. So here it goes. Events like these are special to all of us as they honor the hard work and dedication, as well as the excellence, intelligence, and talent of our students. I am always impressed by the levels of achievement realized by these high-performing students and appreciate all of the care and support that these students have received from you, their families, their, as well as their teachers, counselors, and administrators. It is now my pleasure to welcome Dr. Jeremy Tucker, Superintendent of Schools. He too joins us today from his home and provides remarks for tonight's honorees. Dr. Tucker, thanks for joining us. We want to thank everyone for taking time to be able to participate in this virtual academic uh, recognition event. In most years, we'd be gathered face to face, but this year, as we all know, uh, took on a little bit of a different twist during the fourth quarter as we move to close schools and transition to learning from home. Nonetheless, students, we're incredibly proud of you and honored to spend some time recognizing you for your achievements. Uh, both in and outside of the classroom. And that we know so many of you are very diligent at your studies, but at the same time involved in a variety of activities and events um, outside of school as well. I also want to challenge you students to be thinking about over the course of your school career, all of the people that have invested in you along the way. It might be a classroom teacher, it might be a coach, it might be a mentor on a job that you have that you work part time might be a mom, a dad, a sibling, a family member, or even a neighbor. Um, there are undoubtedly dozens and dozens of people that have participated in shaping you and making you who you are today. So my task for you is, in your own time and that right moment, find a window of opportunity to be able to express your appreciation and gratitude for every single one of them that have invested in you along the way. We know we have some students that are returning to us next year, and so we look forward to continuing to watch you grow and develop into the young men and women that you are. And we also know that we have some seniors that will be departing and moving on to whatever life has in store for you, whether it's the workforce, whether it's a college or career opportunity, we want to wish you well along the way. Moms, dads, aunts, uncles, grandparents, thank you so much for everything that you've done over the course of the year and supporting your young people. And to our Liberty Public Schools team, our teachers, administration, and staff, we have an incredibly um, amazing group of uh, individuals that work within our system. So on behalf of our Board of Education, we want to thank all of you for everything that you have done along the way to invest in our young people. We want to pause and reflect and celebrate them here in just a few moments. But before that, I thought I'd end with a quote that I came across not too long ago. And I think it pertains to the time in which we live. As we think about that shelter in place, this quote simply says, and as they sat in the uncertainty, the focus on unimportant things faded and all that truly mattered became clear. The sanctioned pause and everything normal made them ask themselves, what parts of normal are worth rushing back to? And as I reflect upon that quote for our students in particular, I think the part that I'm most interested in rushing back to is your skills, your talents, your accomplishments, your giftings. Don't lose sight of that. Even though we're in a period of closure, period of pandemic, and things might be you know, shifting upside down, don't lose sight of the giftings that you have, those things that you're interested in, those things that you're passionate about. Hopefully sooner than later, that all clear will be given and we'll continue to watch you thrive in this incredibly amazing opportunity to continue to build upon those skills and, and talents that you've developed over the years. Again, thank you. We appreciate every single one of you. Um, hope you enjoy this virtual achievement. Thank you, Dr. Tucker, for providing us with those remarks. Each year, we are fortunate to be joined by someone locally to serve as our guest keynote speaker. This year, we are joined by President of William Jewell College, Dr. Elizabeth McLeod-Walls. 
Dr. McLeod Walls has served as the 15th president of William Jewell College since 2016. She previously served in numerous academic and senior leadership roles, most recently as the Dean of the University College at Nebraska Wesleyan University. Dr. McLeod Walls earned her PhD in English Literature and Classical Rhetoric from TCU and her Bachelor of Arts degree in English and History at Hiram College. She also is an alum of numerous higher education leadership programs, including the Harvard New Presidents Program, the Harvard Management and Leadership in Education Program, ACE Women's Leadership Program, and the Lilly Family School of Philanthropy programs. I am honored to introduce Dr. Elizabeth McLeod Walls. Hello, Liberty High School and Liberty North High School students, and congratulations on your outstanding academic achievements. I'm Elizabeth McLeod Walls, and I have the privilege of serving as the 15th president of your hometown college, William Jewell. William Jewell is known as the Critical Thinking College, and all of you are excellent examples of critical thinkers. So I want to encourage you to deploy your critical thinking skills to make the most of this COVID-19 crisis and to ensure that the world will be renewed and redefined after it's over. You're hearing a lot right now about living in uncertain times, but I want to challenge that notion and I would encourage you to do the same. Life is uncertain. You never know what any given day will bring you and sometimes what you get will be wonderful and sometimes it won't be. What we're living through right now isn't wonderful, not at all, but managing illness and dealing with loss are parts of life and as tough as it, as it is, to lose precious moments in your senior year or to watch someone you love lose a job, this difficult time is teaching us a good deal about ourselves, about our government and our economy, our healthcare system, racial and class divides, family structures and safety nets. In other words, how we live and what supports our way of living. So life is uncertain. And if this COVID-19 experience is yet another admittedly difficult aspect of life, I want to propose a different idea to all of you who are devoting energy to improving yourselves, your schools, and your community through academic and personal achievement. I put to you that rather than being uncertain times, these are unscripted times. I prefer unscripted to uncertain because the word unscripted is full of possibility and hope. Think about it. It's an experience, a story, a life yet to be written. Each of you is at the beginning of your own rich and complex story. Just like a character in a book or a movie, some omniscient narrator is going to add things to your story that you may not expect or may not even want. But at the end of the day, you have free will. You will make your own decisions. You are the author of your own story. And remember that you're also the co-author of a larger story, a story we're writing together as a Liberty, Kansas City, Missouri, and United States society. The choices you make in writing your own story will affect our shared experience. Although no one would choose to live through the pandemic that we're in, I want to encourage you to make the most of this crisis. The students who graduated from high school after Pearl Harbor remade this nation into an economic powerhouse it also redefined social justice through the civil rights, women's rights, and poor people's movements later in the century. Students who graduated from high school after 9-11 represent the most altruistic, volunteer-focused generation in memory, spearheading community revitalization efforts that will make our country stronger. Liberty North and Liberty High School students, this is your moment. You will be the students who graduated from high school after the greatest worldwide pandemic in over a century. How you use what you're learning in this moment to help others, to create opportunities, to recognize and respond to disparities, and to innovate in ways that reshape industry, education, social services, and the arts will matter. What will your story be? In these unscripted times, I'm so proud and excited to know that our academic achievers within the Liberty School District will be putting their great minds to work, utilizing critical thinking skills, problem solving, and creativity to help advance our great civilization, 
after this dark time has passed. To write a story for our country and our world of which we all can be proud. On behalf of your larger Liberty community, congratulations. Thank you, Dr. McLeod Walls, for joining us this year and providing those wonderful remarks. It is now time to introduce you to tonight's honorees. For recognition at tonight's events, senior students must meet the following criteria. 3.5 GPA or higher, ACT score of 26 or above, and have completed or enrolled in at least four AP courses. Junior students being recognized tonight meet the following criteria. 3.5 GPA or higher and completed or enrolled in at least two AP courses. This year, students will be virtually introduced by their building principals, Dr. April Adams, principal at Liberty High School, and Dr. Precious Kurth, principal at Liberty North High School. I would first like to welcome Dr. Adams to the broadcast as she will share a few remarks and introduce her Blue Jay recipients. I'm Dr. Adams, Principal at Liberty High School, and it is an absolute pleasure to be a part of creating the Academic Awards Recognition Ceremony in a virtual format. Our young scholars, both juniors and seniors, have worked so incredibly hard, and we are thrilled about being able to celebrate them, even though we can't come together. Parents, thank you for your hard work in supporting your students through their past three and four years. And students, keep on keeping on. We're so proud of you. I know this is a hard time, but you've got this. The junior class recipients of the Academic Achievement Award include Anna Achille, Natalie Adams, Shania Adkisson, John Alvey, Jillian Arnold, Connor Athern, Katie Boffman, Lily Boffman, Rebecca Beebe, Elvin Banagi, Salvatore Bonadonna, Colvin Bauer, Devin Bowman, Kai Breeden, Charlotte Brookins, Lillian Calvin, Owen Carrillo, Alexis Carver, Drew Casson, Abigail Cole, Charles Cope Morris, Olivia Cotton, Leah Krigo, Elizabeth Deo, Rebecca Davison, Emma DeVault, Ian Dickerson, Anna Doherty, Nicholas Duan, Cameron Eldridge, Alexis Fischel, Rebecca Flore, Andrew Flores Mejia, Evelyn Frank, Edward Friedel, Jacob Fuller, Brindy Gale, Mitchell Gant Jr., Maya Gaona, Calvin Gifford, Nancy Gillespie, Kellen Goodwin, Kyle Griffith, Elena Garoon, Elizabeth Hall, Logan Heil, Annabeth Hansen, Jackson Herman, Jillian Huff, Luke Hubbard, Kyler James, Blake Johnston, Regan Johnston, Laura Kallenbach, Jackson King, Noah Cook, Samantha Lang, Celeste Leonard, Constant Leonard, Catherine Mackey, Haley Masimic, Holly Mast, Graham Maddox, Bailey Middleton, Chance Michelson, Sophia Moore, Tajan Endufor, Olivia Neville, Amy No, Charlene Wynn, Trenton O'Bannon, Nicholas Olson, Alexander Osborne, Riley Osterberg, Grant Owen, 
Logan Parkle, Ryan Fanensteel, Alexander Pittman, Zoe Polson, Anastasia Reed Camo, Landon Robinson, Ryan Rauch, Nathan Saluri, Paige Saluri, Samuel Savastino, Lauren Shepard, Adelina Scheidel, Alan Shipman, Ellie Stewart, Joby Stokes, Emma Sullivan, Mia Sullivan, Millie Talati, Kelsey Thielen, Gracie Thompson, Ashley Tyndall, Samuel Torno, Lindsay Walther, Amy Wang, Keegan Ward, Tyler Warner, Harrison Wheeler, Emma Winkler, Henry Witt, Jacob Wolfley, Ian Woodridge, Grayson Yanni, Kimball Yates, Kirsten York. It's now my pleasure to announce the senior recipients of the Academic Achievement Award. Paige Adams, Allison Elaine, Jason Aldong, Jacek Balecki, Isabel Bates, Ezekiel Beach, Carly Benton, Caitlin Bolick, Tyler Bowles, Zachary Boyer, Lauren Brookins, Fiona Burroughs, Justin Castor, Delaney Kavanoff, Alec Senta, Savannah Christensen, Philip Cleary, Tepri Cooley, Grace Cotton, Samantha Eklund, Lillian Floyd, Carissa French, Abigail Geyer, Emily Glasser, Bristol Huff, Riley Howerton, Michaela Johnston, Mary Jurgensen, Nathaniel Kahasi, Colby Kelly, Zara Hahn, Anna Kreischbergs, Matthew Lawson, Noah Lively, Adam Mulissis, John Manuel, Catherine Martin, Audrey McBride, Olivia McCann, Corbin McClintock, Kendall McMullen, Charles Huynh, Caitlin Pearson, Hope Peck, Graydon Penner, Faraz Pervasi, Drew Plum, Seren Powell, James Rakestraw, Braden Reeve, Abigail Riggs, Danielle Rupke, Jacob Rogers, Drew Saviano, Zach Sheely, Samantha Segerman, Jacob Shaw, Dylan Shields, Avery Starr, Peyton Steenstra, Ali Taylor, Abigail Watts, Hayden West, Caroline Wright. Congratulations to our juniors and seniors who are recipients of the Academic Achievement Awards. Thank you, Dr. Adams, and congratulations to all of our Blue Jay recipients from Liberty High School. Next, I would like to welcome Dr. Precious Kurth, who will now introduce her Eagle recipients representing Liberty North High School. Hello, this is Dr. Kurth, the principal at Liberty North High School, and we are here to celebrate our academic scholars. It is an incredible honor to be recognized this evening, and I appreciate all the hard work that the students have put into their education, and parents, thank you for supporting your children along the way. Rachel Adger, Nathan Amore, Jediah Anderson, Noah Armstrong, Nay Awasom, 
Lauren Barnett, Jackson Bauer, Connor Baxley, Chloe Bentley, Riley Birkelin, Mackenzie Black, Nicholas Bogard, Sophia Bolin, Ethan Bollinger, Callie Bolhofer, N. Bollinger, Sierra Bond, Jackson Brown, J. Bryant, Reagan Burgess, Madison Burrow, Caroline Castle, Brooke Chase, Delaney Church, Michaela Cook, Caitlin Cornell, Cole Creek, Marshonda Colum, Sydney Davis, Cade DeValcarainer, N. Deached, Adam Dye, Isabella Eddy, Emma Engelman, Jackson Faulkner, Carson Fitter, Delaney Flanagan, David Forker, Grant Frawley, Davis Falk, Madison Gabbert, Elena Gatzmeyer, Laura Geraldo Perez, Zane Giddings, Elena Gordon, Megan Grisham, Courtney Hadley, Jacob Hagen, Megan Hammond, Mackenzie Harkness, Michaela Harkness, Grant Harms, April Hecox, Catherine Hedges, Nicholas Hadiet, Nadia Igaradia, Allison Hillman, Bill Hoing, Maxwell Hodias, Ethan Hoff, Sydney Jaquin, Julia Johnson, Kirsten Johnson, Abigail Jones, John Kankowitz, Rachel Kim, Jaden Klug, Carson Kropp, Brandon Kwan, Felix Labrador, Garrett Lampert, Rachel Lay, Kyle Leeton Floyd, Cole Lamasters, Dylan Lewis, Grace Livia, Grace Lindes, Catherine McKenzie, Sabrina Madison, Austin Mann, Cassius Maddox, Samantha Medley, Avery Miller, Tyler Muneer, Sean Mosher, Tiffany No, Max Wynn, Abigail Overby, Ashton Overby, Caitlin Peak, Leah Pershing, Abigail Peterson, Zachary Purdue, Bailey Redford, Lily Reeder, Abigail Roberts, Lincoln Russell, Duncan Sanford, Seth Shear, Samantha Sosa Zendejas, Hannah Spainhauer, Rachel Spainhauer, Riley Stotts, Aiden Stigler, Phoebe Stripling, Emma Supez, Allison Thompson, Lauren Thompson, Riley Turner, Carolyn Utes, Turner Van Duser, Connor Van Bockern, Nicole Wagner, Alexander Walls, Brooke Ware, Jane Watts, Maddie Weaver, Mia Witt, Bryce Zaffadil, and Olivia Zimmerman. These are the names for the Liberty North High School seniors receiving the Academic Achievement 
Recognition. Emma Engel. Michaela Armstead. Warren Barge. Grace Bellman. William Bender. Julia Blanchard. Aiden Boyden. Cooper Bratcher. Zarius Buharivala. Austin Burnett. Leah Byers. Garrett Carroll. Delaney Clausen. Sydney Cole. Emily Decline. Jada Dickens. Nicholas Duzine. Alexandra Fisher. Emily Green. Ariana Haney. Amelia Jefferson. McKenna Jones. Sarah Kane. Mackenzie Kelbreth. Ethan King. Jackson Crop. Hannah Leonard. Garrett Lynn. Bryn Maddox. Maxwell Maynard. Hannah Overman. Jeden Pinkley. McKenna Pipes. Braden Presser. Ella Pritchett. Cheyenne Pulliam. Emma Riser. Kaylin Robinson. Hannah Sampson. Sierra Schweiger. Elizabeth Simcoe. Sienna Sneed. Alexa Spurlock. Aaron Stevens. Elizabeth Stinson. Aaron Stockman. Benjamin Svoboda. Abigail Wagner. Laney Weaver. Thank you, Dr. Kurth, and congratulations to our Eagle nominees. This concludes our special virtual academic achievement recognition event this evening. Just a quick reminder that this broadcast is available in replay format on both the Liberty Public Schools YouTube and Facebook platforms in case you, you or someone you know would want to watch it in its entirety. Congratulations, students, for this and all the many honors you have worked to achieve. We wish you the best of luck in whatever your respective bright futures hold. Thanks to everyone for watching, and please be safe and healthy.